everybody. Good Tuesday morning and welcome to AMHQ Early. It is Tuesday, February 23rd. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass. We've got active weather moving through Texas right now and it's likely to create problems for millions across the south over the next couple of days. And we could have another named winter storm sometime today acting millions of people. Well, other weather stories we've got going across the country right now. Good morning to you, Andrew. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning to you at home. We want to break down what we know about this potential tornado out. That is a lot of people having to be taken out of the water there. Uh, here in Philadelphia, good morning to you. Watch out for water on the roadways primarily, although some of you in the Northeast will start off with a wintry mix before we do go over to all rain. But we're talking a lot of rain and eventually the wind is going to kick up as well. Here's a look at the active radar. Philadelphia, it's not raining quite yet, but it's just about to move into D.C. from the south side. We've got snow being detected on the radar, but I've been looking. I'm not seeing anybody reporting snow at, except for Hot Springs, Virginia. Here's a look at the clouds and the wind direction. We've got that wind coming in off the water and uh, that's why we're thinking that it, we will see that change over to rain. We've got that moist flow coming in. You've got Norfolk in the rain later this morning. D.C., there you are with the rain. Now, New York City initially may actually start off with some light snow, although we're not expecting much to accumulate because we do change it over to rain. Boston, same for you. As we go towards later on tonight, we'll see a mix of rain and snow. Not much accumulation because the warm air takes over and then we're going to have to watch that system as it comes up from the Ohio Valley over the eastern lake and really strengthens here, changing rain over to snow. Some areas in upstate New York, one to three, but back towards Michigan, that is where the jackpot of snow is going to be entering us. Take a look at what's going to be happening over the next couple of days because we've got the system to deal with and we're talking severe storms across the south, even the threat of tornadoes right here across the lower Mississippi Valley. So from eastern Texas all the way into Alabama, Panhandle of Florida, have a way to get those warnings. Atlanta, it's going to be a rough morning commute for you tomorrow with the rain, possibly severe weather. We see a little bit of a mix coming in behind that, even as far south as the Tennessee Valley. Some wintry weather coming on down as that cold air comes down. 35 dry weather in Chicago come Friday. In fact, most of the country clears out and dries out. And then, of course, our attention turns to the west with a new system entering into the Pacific Northwest, where Seattle, Portland, you already have your rainiest winter season on record. We're going to add to that. Sunday, we wrap it up with some snow across the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and plain old rain down toward the south. In fact, we're going to be live around the clock because mm -hmm. of this huge storm system. Good morning and welcome back. It is 19 past the hour. We are your travel headquarters. And we're just no delays at the airport, but it's early. Which is good. It is very early. <laughs> yeah. There are no flights uh, leaving yet, but we do have that strong line of uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms yes. moving across the state of Texas. We want to show you what Dallas and Austin look like this morning. Of course, the roads are wet. People, if, you, if you're up already, it's probably the, the thunder and the lightning that's waking you up and not your alarm car. Yes, clock loud in spots. thunder. The wind's picking up with the system mm -hmm. as well. We did have a couple of warnings down towards B in Goliath County, but our Goliath County, but you can see the heavy rain affecting Interstate 45 and now just moving to the east of 35. And this is going to uh, last through your morning rush hour, so yes. make sure, you know, when you're taking the kids out to school this morning, you give yourself some extra time. And it's only going to get worse, unfortunately. It's the morning hours, and typically our severe threat ramps up as we go through mm -hmm. the afternoon and evening hours, so definitely something to watch out for, even along 20, up through Dallas, and eventually getting into the parishes of Louisiana, so places like New Orleans, okay. we could be looking at some dangerous weather as well. So this dangerous line of storms is actually moving across the entire south today and an outbreak of tornadoes is likely. Our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, breaks down the threat of severe weather.